Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's uh, me, Eli Johnson, your intrepid photographer and narrator with my two companions, Boss Horatio Rothschild Godfrey. Still looking good after all these years. And Patty Cakes, who's trying to hide from the sun. It's uh, middle of September. I'm at the lake again, and uh, I have not made any videos since my last camping trip because it's been too damn hot in North Texas. The hottest summer that got to be one of the hottest summers on record. I think we either broke a record or came close to the record of most consecutive days with over 100 degrees. I'm talking about 110, 111, 112. I'm talking about walking the dogs late at night, 98, let's we'll say like a 11.40 at night, drive by a bank, having to be 96, 97 degrees at 11 o'clock at night. One time I drove by went that same bank and it was 101 degrees. I said, man, I hope I, I, hope I read that wrong because there's no sense in being 101 degrees when it's almost 12 o'clock at night. But that's how it goes down sometimes. So we haven't made any videos at all. It ain't been safe. So I hope everyone's dogs uh, survived this this heat wave. I mean, because it was, it was bad. So my dogs did nothing but drink water and sleep. Sleep, sleep, ah, sleep. Every so often, a couple times a week, I take a chance and I get them out at around 11 o'clock, let them stretch their legs a little bit. <clears throat> but this is just a little update on us. I'm alive, I'm healthy. The Lord has blessed me. I'm uh, out of shape as far as film goes, filming goes, so this video won't be all that hot. There's really nothing to see. There's a lot of people around, so I can't let the dogs uh, off, but if I go early in the day, it's still too hot. It's like 98 degrees now. But we staying hydrated, we're staying healthy. Patty's got mud on her legs because uh, she laid down in a mud puddle, but that's what she always does. Boss is still doing good, seven years in the game. Hey, boss, boss, you get your head, that apple, man. <laughs> you think about me, yeah, Patty. But we're doing good. We just came back from Pets Co. where the pets go, and I like Pet Co. a lot. I like pets more too, but I especially like Petco because Petco, as you've seen from other videos, they'll let me film in there. They don't care. PetSmart won't let you film. Why? I don't know. I've been going to PetSmart for how old are you, boss? Seven years. Same PetSmart, seven years. And I had a, I was in there one time and I took a, did a little bit of filming and do, uh, well, the guy, he wasn't rude about it, but he told me, you know, another black man, he said, hey, you know, don't like nobody filming in here. I said, why? Wow. I don't know. You gotta be happy. But, Look at this here, biscotti for dogs. Biscotti for dogs. What could be gayer than biscotti for dogs? The man that buys biscotti for his pit bull. There you go, boss. Look at that, Patty. Look at that, that's good. I wonder if Patty will sit down. Because Patty's not gonna eat till she sits down. There she go, that's a good baby. Yeah, biscotti. See, Patty, see, Patty has trouble eating because she is more worried about boss food than her own. Now see, now see, look at it. Now she, she's like she wants to, I'm gonna wait until he's finished, then I'm gonna eat mine. And I guess it's important to her that she don't let him have none. So she'll wait till he's finished eating his food, and then she'll go, hey, 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 hey. all right, boss, we're gonna do it. Look at that shit, we're gonna do it. We gonna fix up, because it's all about the fellas. Not the fuck we do, we homies. We brothers, man, we seven years in the game. She thinks she's smooth, she thinks she's slick. Hmm? Come out of mesquite, we come out the hood. That's how we do, man. That's how we do, baby. Jim Bread. Talk about it. Oatmeal. Talk about it. You even eat your biscotti yet? Look at that. Does that sound right? Does that sound right? Does that sound right at all? I'm asking a pit bull, did you eat your biscotti? And guess what? Guess what? Guess what, you two? She ain't ate her biscotti yet. Boss, if you can get it, it's yours. Because she bull driving, she didn't know it. Ain't nobody think about you. Eat your biscotti. Get it, boss. Get eat your biscotti. Look at that. What are you looking at? There's some, some man uh, set his book bag down and Patty's thinks his backpack is up to something. Eat your biscotti, girl. Eat your biscotti. One, two, three. Well, guess what? Guess what you ain't got no more, huh? You want your biscotti? You want your biscotti? Well, that's, that's, that sound right. Eat your biscotti. How do I got a trick? I, I'm, I'm a grown ass man tricking a pit bull into eating her biscotti. 
better be happy somebody gave you something, Scotty. I never ate biscotti. I still haven't eaten a biscotti. What the fuck is a biscotti? What is that? Hmm? What is a biscotti? What is a biscotti? Some sort of cookie. I think I have. I ain't eaten one. I ate one. I think I ate one before I recognized it. It's an Italian cookie. Biscotti. Biscuit. Okay. Patty is not gonna. Well, she'll get to it, but biscotti eventually. Well, anyway, as I was saying, this is an update for us. I'm doing just fine. Boss is doing just fine. And the Lord has richly blessed us. There were some butterflies right here. I was trying to get a picture of them, man, but I couldn't. They're still right there. I wish I could. Is that it? I don't know. Yeah, that's him. My favorite animal is a butterfly. My favorite animal, except for a dog, is a butterfly. And I'll tell you why. One time, right after my divorce, I was sitting back, I was working at a grocery store, really depressed, sitting on the back dock, depressed, and a butterfly came and landed beside me. This is the truth. This is no lie. And it flapped its wings just like that was flapping its wings. And I looked at the butterfly and it looked at me, and I'm, I'm a, I believe in God, but I don't, I don't believe in spirit animals and all that other junk, but I knew that butterfly was a message from God because a caterpillar is very defenseless. I know there's some in Hawaii that are poisonous and they eat other insects, but here is defenseless. Butterfly, almost defenseless. And some of them are poisonous. Like I said, a butterfly really can't defeat itself. But throughout all the trials and tribulations of being a caterpillar and being a pupa, that butterfly was still there. It survived. It adapted, it changed, it was so it was there and it was beautiful. And I knew that was a message from God to me, that if God can look after this butterfly, he can look after me. If this butterfly can make it be all right, all the ants, all the spiders, all the birds and the bugs are trying to eat this, this caterpillar before it got to be a butterfly. Then it got to be a butterfly, and guess what, now it's even worse because now it's a high profile target that can't defend itself. But it was there, it survived, it thrived, and it was beautiful. And I believe that was a message for me. So every time I see a butterfly, yeah, this, uh, this guy sound weird. I, I know that it's like, that's like, the, what I'm gonna say, I, when I see a butterfly, I know that that's the Lord. I know when I'm, when I'm doing something, if I see a butterfly, I'm thinking, yeah, all right, I'm on the right track. I'm doing the right thing. Now, I don't believe in spirit animals and all that other stuff, but I know when that butterfly landed on that metal dock, there was no food with her, no sugar, no water, no nothing. It landed, and I looked at the butterfly, and I imagined it looked at me, and I knew that was from the Lord. Yeah. That's my soliloquy for today. That's the philosophy of Eli Johnson at a lake with patty cakes and boss guy for pit bull. I think I call this video pit bulls, biscotti, and butterflies. All right, YouTube. Thank you. God bless you. Peace.